kuazimio hapo kesho unatarajiwa kutoa msimamo kamili kuhusu ripoti ya kamati ya maridhiano iliyozinduliwa siku ya Ijumaa kikao hicho kitakachoongozwa na kinara wa muungano huo Raila Odinga kimejiri wakati viongozi wa muungano wamegawanyika kuhusu ripoti hiyo kutokana na swala la gharama ya maisha ripoti hiyo bado haijawasilishwa bungeni Mbivu na mbichi kuhusu msimamo kamili wa muungano wa azimio kuhusu ripoti ya kamati ya maridhiano itajulikana hapo kesho baada ya tofauti kuzuka kwenye muungano huo kuhusu ripoti hiyo chama cha jubilii ambacho ni chama tanzu cha muungano huo kikisema licha ya tofauti hizo kuhusu gharama ya juu ya maisha muungano huo uko pamoja you know this document is about 300 pages so you can read one page and read something else and then say something tomorrow we will be reading it together and then we will issue one position i can tell you azimio is intact and it will be intact under the leadership of Raila Amolo Odinga and the chairman of the azimio is Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta we are intact as azimio and we love the dynamism in azimio can you imagine how vibrant the discussion will be tomorrow i'm sure you also want to be inside chama cha jubilee vile vile kimepuzilia madai kuwa rais mstaafu Uhuru Kenyatta alikuwa na nia ya kusambaratisha mazungumzo hayo na ripoti yake Uhuru has never been in the habit of disrupting things he was in learning this country for 10 years when we even had covid and he always reached out to people so that you they, we can come come let us talk and listen together kiongozi wa Kenya Martha Karua na mwenzake wa DAP Kenya Eugene Wamalwa wakipinga ripoti hiyo kwa kutozingatia sura la gharama ya juu ya maisha hali iliyompelekea Wamalwa kutotia saini ripoti ya kamati hiyo katika kikao cha hapo kesho azimio itakuwa kwenye njia panda kutokana na msimamo utakaotangazwa je kuidhinisha ripoti hiyo itakuwa ni usaliti kwa wafuasi wake waliofariki kwenye maandamano Azimio pia huenda ikajipata kwenye njia panda iwapo watapinga ripoti hiyo kwa ni itakuwa kama kumoibisha kinara wake Kalonzo Msyoka aliyeongoza mazungumzo hayo Apul Kamau TV 47